In this video, we are modifying the Puzzle Creator Kit by adding a simple local multiplayer input to the project. With this modification, you'll be able to challenge your friends and see who can reach the goal first. By following along the Unity Learn course for this Creator Kit, you'll be able to understand how to set up your own level. The course covers how to use the level layout system and how to add new interactable objects to the puzzle. Once we have figured out the level structure we want our players to race on, we need to create the second track for the second player. In order to do that, we just need to select the marble, level layout, and interactable objects in the hierarchy and duplicate them. We can do this by either pressing Ctrl or Command D or right-clicking on the selected objects and choosing Duplicate from the context menu. You can select multiple objects by holding down Ctrl on Windows or Command on Mac OS and clicking the objects one at a time. Once we have our duplicated objects, we just need to move all of them a little bit on the Z axis. We'll also scale up our goal a bit and move it so that it can cover both tracks. One important thing to remember is that we want to go to each marble object's rigid body component and deactivate the is kinematic property. In this way, both their physics simulations will start right away. If we test the game right now, we can see that the spacebar key triggers all of the interactable objects at the same time. To change that, we can individually select each interactable object, go to their interaction script, and change the interact key property to whatever key you think works best. I'll try binding them to the return key for the second player. To make it more clear that our interactable objects react to different keyboard keys, let's add a different material to them. By going into the project window, click on the art folder, then materials, and then select the interactables material. We can duplicate this material by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Let's change the albedo color of this material to something like red. Once the material is ready, we just need to drag that material to the interactable objects. Why don't we go ahead and do the same for the second player's marble material? In order for our camera to look at both marbles, we need to go to the target group object in the hierarchy and add a new target to the list and assign our new marble to that second element. We also want to go to the weight control script and comment out line 32 of the code using forward slash forward slash. This will stop the camera from trying to focus in on the player one marble. Once that's all done, let's go to the virtual camera object. Click on the lens dropdown and increase the field of view for our camera. This will make our view of the scene wider and allow us to see both players better. Just as a last touch, we want our final goal to be able to detect both players when they reach it by colliding with its trigger collider. For that, we need to select both marbles and change their tag in the inspector to the player tag. Once we have done that, let's select the goal object and double click the target trigger script. On the script, we just need to modify the last if statement so that instead of waiting for the collider component attached to the player one marble, it will now register as true if any object with the player tag collides with it. We'll do that by replacing the existing if statement with the code if parentheses other dot compare tag parentheses quote player end quote end parentheses. We now have a custom multiplayer track for you to try out with your friends. Hopefully you've had a great time exploring this creator kit. Don't forget there are three other kits covering different game types and topics for you to learn from as well. Or if you're having fun, feel free to continue to modify and expand on this one. If you'd like to learn more, don't forget to check out some of the other projects on the Unity Learn site.